For now, though, it is Rick Saccone versus Connor Lamb to fill that vacant seat in the 18th district. And special election next month. Both candidates were here at KDKA TV today to take part in a debate. Political editor John Delano joins us with a preview. John. Well, if you plan to vote in the March 13th special congressional election, or you're just interested in seeing two candidates for Congress going at it in response to some strong questions, tonight's debate is must watch TV. For most of us in this region, it's the first time to see these two candidates side by side. When Democrat Connor Lamb and Republican Rick Saccone arrived at KDK TV studios for their first television debate in this special congressional election, they had to know that the first question would be the most topical. Can the gun lobby and 18th district voters count on you to do nothing? The left's first response is always to disarm law-abiding citizens whenever there's an incident like this. Uh, I think we have to look at the underlying causes of what would cause someone to go out and commit such a heinous act. There were many uh, laws were broken by this individual. There were many uh, warning signs that were missed. Saccone was clear that he would not ban assault weapons frequently used by mass shooters. But neither would Lamb when asked directly about banning assault weapons. I do not support that. Uh, I've been thinking about violent crime for a long time as a prosecutor, and most of the cases that I saw were committed with handguns and by people who were already not allowed to have those firearms. So I think what we should do is strengthen the background check system we have, because that's where people actually say they want to work together. People on both sides of the aisle are in favor of this, but we have to actually do it. Moderator Ken Rice pushed the candidates again. What gun would you try to make access to more difficult? As I say, it's not about making access to a gun more difficult. Okay. It's making sure that law-abiding citizens only have access to the weapon. Mr. Lamb, is there a gun? Is there a piece of equipment that you would try to make access to more difficult? I think the problem of crime pre prevention is much more complex than banning individual guns. Okay. But I would like to see efforts like those by Senator Toomey and Manchin to close the loophole. Now, while the gun issue is important, the candidates were asked lots of other questions, everything from President Trump to taxes to abortion and religion to the Russians and military parades. In fact, more than a dozen questions were asked with time for a short closing pitch by both candidates. Now, you can see the debate in its entirety tonight at 7 o'clock on KDKA-TV. Live in the studio, I'm John Delano.